What's up you guys? It is Madison and today I'm going to be doing my October favorites. Today is the 22nd? The 22nd? No it's not. Today is October 24th. I don't know why I said 22nd. Anyways, so I was going to say it was a little bit early but I guess it's not that early. Also, I don't know when I'm going to put this up so whenever you're seeing this, I hope it's not too early. I hope it's not too late. Let's go. But the first thing I'm going to talk about is this Morphe palette. This is the Jaclyn Hill Favorites palette. I've had this since April. Probably at the end of April. No, you cannot get this anymore. Which, that's why I was debating on putting this in the video. But I've just been really using this a lot this month. And it just looks like this. But the reason I did put it in this video is because you can still get these single shadows from Morphe. Not a big deal. It just doesn't come in this palette. But typically you can make your own palette on Morphe. Which I'm in the process of doing. But yeah, so this has just been definitely one of my favorites. You can see I have used it quite a bit, but yeah, this is definitely one of my favorite palettes I own. And it's very universal, very amazing. I actually still have the box to that palette because I was like, did you hear my aunt coughing? I was like, um, Jaclyn Hill is on that palette, so I cannot throw it away. Anyways, the next couple favorites are actually lipsticks. Not necessarily these colors, but this formula. This is the L'Oreal Lipsticks. What is this? L'Oreal Color Rich Lipsticks. Whatever. This one is 315 True Red. And to be honest, I haven't even wore this one a lot. But it is still the same formula. This is a very bright red. Um, It just looks like this. Like I said, it's very bright. Um, I haven't worn this one in a while, actually. But the formula is amazing. And then the other two are nude shades. So this one is 800 Ferris Nude. This one is just more on the beige beige side looks like this right there and then this one this like this collection i think is limited edition because this is like the new collection now they have the red collection so i don't know if you can still actually find this one but this one is 620 julianne's nude again from l'oreal and this one is just a little bit pinkier so it just looks like this. I'm sorry if you hear anything in the background. So it just looks like this one right there. I know I need to paint my nails. It is a mess. But this formula is amazing. thing is not anything new at all. It is just my beauty blender, which looks disgusting. It actually has this tear in it. Look at that. I had to get a new one. It's on the way. Don't worry. But I've really been into the beauty blender again. I kind of like switched through like It Cosmetics buffing brush and the beauty blender. But most time nowadays, I use the Beauty Blender, but I had to order a different one because this one has been through a lot. I have a feeling it's going to be a little quick little favorite. Um, anyways, so this is the Hand Food by Soap and Glory. This was in my, what's in my purse video, so I'm not going to talk that much about it. This is an amazing hand, hand cream, hand lotion, whatever. It's so amazing. The smell, again, is not my favorite, but... A lot of people like the smell, but I just can't get into the smell of this. Whatever. But it's very, very moisturizing and very, very soft. So, I would very much recommend it. Also, Ulta started carrying Soap and Glory. So, go get you some. Um, This is the Leaves Candle. I talked about this in my fall favorite tag. So, I'm not going to talk about it a lot. Um, I'm scared. I burn it all the time, but I'm scared to pour this stuff out because I'm scared I'm going to run out so fast. Anyways, so like I said, this is the Leaves Candle from Bath & Body Works. It smells amazing. The notes on it, if I can get it on, the notes on it are golden nectar, red apple, and spiced berries. Honestly, it just smells like fall in a candle. It's amazing. If you've never smelled it, go in your Bath & Body Works, smell it. Honestly, when I bought this, I hadn't even smelled it yet. I just ordered it offline because... Everyone had been talking about it, and I'm glad I got it. Candles are usually $24.50 or somewhere around that um, price range. I don't know. Their candles are very expensive, but I got that one on sale with another one. It was like half off or whatever. But there's a sale going on right now. If you buy one, you get one free. So, go. Get down. Get down. Hey. Hey. Watch it. Excuse you, boo. Next couple things are a little expensive. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, but they're all skincare products. And I'm just gonna go with this one first. Um, this one is the Peter Thomas Roth 
face mask. It's like the 24 karat gold face mask. And it's just a, I don't know, like you put it on your face. It's like a brightener kind of thing. It's really great. My skin has been very dry lately, which is insane for me, but it has. So all these products, I thought her man's, all these products will, bene will be beneficial, will benefit, will benefit. So all these products are good for dry skin or oily skin because, as you guys know, I normally have oily skin, but for some reason it's been very dry. Alright, so this is the first thing, like I said, it's just the little brightening mask. It's the 24 karat gold mask, pure luxury lip and fur mask. Anyway, it's just a facial mask, basically, but it's very expensive for some reason. The next few things are from the same brand this almost just fell on the floor. Um, so this is the... Purity Made Simple by Philosophy. This is the best, best facial wash, facial cleanser, whatever you call it. Um, the best, the best for washing brushes. The best, the best. Um, basically, it is a wash, but it doesn't like foam up or anything. It kind of has different oils in it to break down the makeup, so it gets your makeup off so fast, so easy, so gentle. I'm out of breath. <sighs> So, like I said, this is amazing. This is probably like my third bottle of this. I have one bottle this size in my bathroom closet waiting on me. And then we have one of like the, the 32 ounce ones. That's probably not 32 ounce like this. Anyways, we have another huge one. So, love this stuff. This, I'm not going to say this. Yeah, this is a serum. This is When Hope Is Not Enough by Philosophy. Um, It's just a serum. Basically, it just looks like this. You just put this on before your moisturizer. Pretty basic. Um, I haven't, I wasn't using this when I had very oily skin because I didn't feel like I needed all that. But since my skin has been very dry and very flaky, I have been using this and I really like it. So, yeah, but it's just very expensive. But with the serum, you don't need much. You can see my little table here, sorry. Um, but with the serum, you don't need much. You literally need like a little drop and you pat it on your face. And that's great renewed hope in a jar they this hold on time out they have a philosophy hope in a jar looks like this this is actually a brand new box I have I literally have three of these but this one is a brand new one that I probably will never get around to use it so has a little seal on it um yeah I used to use this one but it's like this one is more like a gel texture which I don't like um I used to use the Garnet moisturizer it was a gel I hated it so this is a good moisturizer but I just personally don't like the gel formula this one is definitely a cream formula and this one is the renewed hope in a jar this one was was with hope in a jar if I told you I don't even know if I did but like I said these are both from philosophy this one is so amazing this actually if you're wondering this huge thing it's it is so heavy, it fell on top of my foot. And now I have the biggest bruise on my foot. The bruise on my foot is like this big. <sighs> anyways, so like I said, this one is a this one is a cream moisturizer. It's like halfway gone. But anyways, I really like this. And I like it so much better than the gel one. Please move. Thank you so much. My next and last favorite is this hair mask. You guys know in my last favorites video last month which what was last month like September yeah September favorites I talked about this shampoo and conditioner this is what the hair mask looks like I talked about oh my god I talked about the shampoo and conditioner that went like those with this but I still use that shampoo and conditioner every single time I wash my hair if you okay if you have ever bleached your hair if you use a lot of heat on your hair if you just need I don't know it is so amazing it makes your hair feel so soft it makes your hair not frizzy anymore it doesn't even say that it's supposed to do that but it did that for me so maybe that's just me I don't really know but oh my gosh. I should probably tell you what it is this is the L'Oreal oh there's a lot of L'Oreal products in this L'Oreal Paris Advanced Hair Care Total Repair 5 Damage Erasing Balm basically a um deep conditioner like a hair mask or whatever this is so amazing i tried the macadamia one that the one that literally cost 50 dollars. this one is the exact same it's so amazing what i do if you care i know a lot of you guys want to see a hair care routine but honestly i don't do that much to my hair i feel like anyways so every like two weeks or whatever when i wash my hair i don't wash my hair for two weeks i wash my hair like every three days but whatever um 
I do this kind of every two weeks, but whenever I do this one where I use this, I will shampoo twice and condition once, and then I'll go in with this and put it on my hand and put like a bunch of it on the ends. That's why it's like mostly gone. I only use this like three or four times. That's why a lot of it is gone because I pile it on my ends because I have like hella split ends because I use heat on my hair all the time. So like I said, if you've ever used bleach on your hair, if you've ever dyed your hair to where it was damaged, please go out and get this. Please go out and get this. Go get the shampoo and conditioner. It's amazing. I talked about it in my last Paris video. I will link it down below if you want to see it. This is amazing. The end of my October favorites video. Today is game day. If you're wondering why this elephant was on my shirt. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Also, let me know what was your favorites down below. If you do want to see a hair care routine, let me know. Even though I don't really do that much to my hair, really. I just kind of wash it, dry it, straighten it. That's basically it. So if you want to see my hair care routine, kind of see how my hair is cut, kind of see how my hair is colored, whatever, let me know in the comments below. And yeah, I love you guys and I'll see you guys soon. There's hair in my mouth. <laughs>